With almost 500 sessions in X 2018, it's understandable that you couldn't get to them all. So if you didn't see Shield Your Cloud with verifiable advanced platform security, then stay tuned because here's the rewind. If you're like me, you probably run a bunch of virtual machines, and you're using a mix of your own hardware, some public cloud resources, maybe both. And of course, you want to keep them safe. But are they safe? Are you sure? One major challenge with this is just how quickly we see attackers jump into action with publicly accessible VMs. We notice attempts to penetrate new virtual machines in under five minutes once they're publicly exposed. An attacker wants to get to your data, take over your resources, or even better, get your credentials, and then they can easily do both at once. To help keep your VM safe, Google Cloud provides shielded VMs. This new option can protect your resources and give you assurances that your virtual machines only run in a safe, secure, and expected state. How does that work? A shielded VM extends the defense and depth model to the very lowest level, establishing a root of trust with the bootloader and the firmware. This is important because if you can't trust your OS, then you can't trust the things running on top of it, your intrusion detection, audit logging, privilege separation, or antivirus at all. So the trust needs to start before the OS even begins, which is why we need a hardware root of trust to keep these fundamental components safe. Enter Titan, a chip designed by Google to secure the boot process. Each Titan chip, as it gets made, has a machine identity key burned into it and can further attest that it has the correct firmware running on itself and its host machine. Titan also validates the signature of the bootloader and kernel binaries, so it will stop boot if the signatures don't check out. This lets shielded VMs assure integrity from the very first instruction executed. We go beyond secure boot and give you measured boot, providing insight and control into the entire boot sequence, from firmware to bootloader to kernel binaries. Putting all this together allows you to validate a virtual machine as a safe environment for your data, your code, and your secrets. We think everyone should use shielded VMs. There's virtually no performance impact. They reduce the trusted compute base. They fully support live migration and patching, and they work across any hardware. Thanks for watching. You can see the full talk link in the description below. Subscribe to the Cloud YouTube channel for more Next Rewind videos.